This video will explain course requests for Grapevine High School for the 2023-24 school year. Today we will review graduation requirements, where to find transcripts, talk about the course request and online arena scheduling process, and finally begin adding course requests to Skyward. Transcripts include all courses taken for high school credit. They need to be checked for thoroughness. They are legal and confidential, and they contain current GPA. Students in the top 10% of each class will have a separate transcript uploaded in Skyward under ranking top 10%. As a reminder, top 10% for juniors and seniors ranking occurs at the end of each semester. Final senior ranking occurs at the end of the third nine weeks. The top 10% for the 9th and 10th grade classes occur at the end of each school year. Unofficial transcripts can be, be viewed in Skyward under the Progress Report Card and Letters tab. Official transcripts can be viewed and ordered through the student's parchment account. See the GHS Counseling webpage for more information under Transcript Request Information. As always, please let your counselor know if you have a question or see an error on your transcript. The following are GCISD's graduation credit requirements. All students are required to complete four credits of English, four credits of math, including Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and a fourth math, four credits of Science, Biology, Chemistry, or IPC, and two additional sciences. Both Chemistry and Physics are recommended and encouraged. Four credits of Social Studies, two credits of languages other than English in the same language. For students who are in a second year of language, foreign language, if they are doing well, they are encouraged to continue on to the third year, even though it is not required for graduation from GCISD. Students are also required to earn one credit in fine arts, one credit in physical education, a half credit each in health and speech. Speech includes professional communications, debate one, or beginning in the 23-24 school year, oral interp one. Debate 1 and Oral Interp 1 must be taken for the entire year for the credit to count toward the speech requirement. Students must also earn 5 elective credits for a total of 26 credits. The online arena scheduling process consists of three steps. The first step is the course request process, where students enter their course requests and their alternate course requests in Skyward between the dates of January 17th and February 3rd. In the second step, the master schedule is built by administration using students' course requests submitted in Step 1. In Step 3, students go back into Skyward in their student access account and put their schedule in their preferred order during a designated three-day window between the dates of March and April. The exact date will be shown on another slide. Reminder, schedules will be adjusted for class balancing in order to ensure an optimal learning environment for all Mustangs. Remember when requesting courses to use your resources, including your transcript viewable in Skyward, the course selection guide to review course descriptions, course videos, talk to your teachers for their recommendations, your counselor and your parents or guardians, because they know you best. Remember, courses requested now will be the only classes available to schedule during online arena scheduling. And alternates are important. Give yourself backup classes in case you encounter a conflict where two classes are taught the same period during arena scheduling. If you do not request courses, counselors will select them for you. A few tips for course selection include, when choosing courses, be sure to challenge yourself, but don't overwhelm yourself. Request electives based on your post-secondary goals and career goals and interests, not what your friends are choosing. High school is a time to explore. Remember, gains in GPA and class rank come from a combination of challenging courses and good grades. When requesting courses, also be mindful of the GCISD GPA scale. Again, the higher level the rigor of course, the higher the GPA points a student is eligible to earn based on their performance in that course. When requesting courses in Skyward, Remember to request enough courses for a full eight-period schedule. For full-year classes, you will need to enter both semesters in Skyward. Each course has a course code. Any course code that ends in an A, A means first semester, means there will also be a second semester or a course code of a B. You may work on entering course requests in Skyward through February 3rd at midnight. After that time, 
the option to add or change course requests in Skyward will close. Students are expected to show their parents or guardians their course requests before the window closes. After you enter enough course requests for a full eight period schedule, it is very important to enter alternate course options. Students can enter up to 10 elective courses or 5.0 credits in Skyward for their alternates. Again, the only classes you will have access to schedule during your designated online arena scheduling window are your requested course and courses and alternates, so choose wisely. If you don't select enough courses or alternates and are unable to complete your schedule during your online arena scheduling window, your counselor will complete your schedule for you. Remember, don't fill your alternates with all core classes. Be sure to list alternate electives as well. New course offerings for the 2023-24 school year include track, personal financial literacy and economics, linear algebra, and number theory. The prerequisites are listed to the right of the courses. In addition, new CTE course offerings include child guidance, marketing, intro to event and meeting planning, practicum in hospitality services, and practicum in health science pharmacy technician. Please note that courses must have enough student requests in order for the course to be offered. Our challenge to students is to ask yourself, where can I challenge myself in my schedule next year? For students who are in on-level courses that are doing well, consider taking the advanced course level the next year. Students in advanced level courses who are ready to take on additional challenge, consider taking a dual credit course open to juniors and seniors only, or an AP level course if offered in that subject area. We encourage students to challenge themselves with more rigorous courses in subject areas where they are experiencing success and have a strong level of interest. We want students to be mindful of their course selections and choose the courses that are at the right level of rigor for you. This slide shows a comparison of dual credit and advanced placement courses. AP courses and dual credit courses are college level courses. AP courses are college credits granted by the university based on AP exam scores and are taught by College Board trained GHS teachers using a nationally recognized curriculum. AP courses are open to any student. Some courses have prerequisites, so be sure to check those out on the course selection sheet. The approximate cost for AP test fees in the spring are $96 per test. Dual credit are also college-level courses that are taught by TCC instructors who come to GHS. They teach junior and senior level English and social studies courses. Students that take dual credit earn the high school credit for the course as well as the college credit. The approximate cost is $384 per year. Juniors and seniors who have GHS approval and have met TSI requirements are eligible to take dual credit. Dual credit courses are advanced GPA weight. See the course selection sheet and course selection guide for dual credit offerings. All students interested in taking a dual credit course as a junior or a senior will enter GHS classes in their course requests in Skyward. Once they have completed the steps to qualify for dual, their counselor will add the requested dual credit course to their course requests in Skyward. For students interested in taking correspondence courses, which are courses taught by providers outside of GCISD, including through Texas Tech University and UT High School, can take a maximum of 2.0 credits through correspondence. Students who are interested in taking correspondence courses must reach out to their counselor first to fill out a pre-approval form to ensure the course and the provider is accepted by Grapevine High School. All correspondence courses must be completed prior to the start of a student senior year schedule, or if it's a class that's required for graduation, it will be placed in the senior year schedule. Juniors and seniors who are on track for graduation may re request a release period in their schedule. The periods below are the only release options. No other combinations will be granted. Seniors can request up to three periods of senior release. Juniors may request one period of senior release, either first or eighth period. Students who have a release period are expected to be off campus during their release period, so it is essential they have transportation once their release period starts. GT options are available for request in the majority of the core classes. The placement of the GT sections may conflict with an elective or a program. If this is the case, you will have to prioritize either taking the GT section or the elective. It is strongly recommended 
for students to place the non-GT version of the course in their alternates in the event they have a course conflict during online arena scheduling and must choose. The following pathway is recommended by our math department and district. The pathway is Algebra 1 and then Geometry, then Algebra 2, and then an Advanced Math. Students still have the option to select Algebra 2 after completing Algebra 1 and then taking Geometry. However, our science teachers have shared that students who take pre-calculus concurrently with AP Physics are tending to have better success. STEM Academy students will follow the, the STEM Academy's program pathway, which is STEM Algebra 1 in 8th grade, STEM Algebra 2, then STEM Geometry in 10th grade, and finally a fourth level of advanced math. As a reminder, the course request window closes at midnight on February 3rd. After that time, each grade level in grades 9 through 11 will have a three-day designated window to log back into Skyward through student access to put their schedule in their preferred order during online arena scheduling. After that window closes, just before May 15th, we will open the view to Skyward for students to see their unofficial schedule. When students see their unofficial schedule, if they would like to request a change to their electives or the order of their classes, they are welcome to request a schedule change request form during this window only. Counselors will gladly make those changes as long as there is space available and it meets graduation requirements for that student. After the May 15th through 17th window, the final window to request changes will be for errors only. Examples would be if a student took speech, for, for instance, over summer school, and then they saw that speech was in their schedule for the next school year or if they were moved up in level of band or athletics, or if they noticed a hole in their schedule. Adjustments, again, are based on course and space av availability, and the order of a student's schedule may change to accommodate those requests. Once the school year starts, students may request to level up in a course if needed during the first 10 days of fall semester only. This would be requesting to change from an on-level course to an advanced level course, or from advanced to an AP level course. Students may also request to level down if needed at the four-week mark, the nine-week mark, and at semester during fall semester only. For course requests and online arena scheduling, students will use their Skyward login student access account, not their parents. On the first day of each online arena scheduling window, counselors will be available to assist students in the lecture hall at 7.30 a.m. and during all lunches. If students have questions or need assistance on the second or third day of their arena window, they are welcome to stop by the counseling office either before school or during their assigned lunch for help. Students will create their preferred order of classes during the online arena scheduling windows listed below. All windows open at 7.30 a.m. Current juniors window is March 27th through 29th. Current sophomores window is April 5th through 7th. Current freshman window is April 17th through 19th and eighth graders will have schedules auto-generated through Skyward using their course requests. To begin entering course requests into Skyward, students will log into Skyward Student Access. Click the Schedule tab on the left-hand side of the page. They will then click the Schedule Courses for 2023-24 in Grapevine High School in the upper right-hand side of the screen. Once they do this, they will come to this screen. On the left-hand side is a list of courses open to their grade level. Students can scroll through this list or they can enter their code attached to their course they're interested in taking for next year. Once they find the course they want to select, they will click next to the course and hit Add Course in the middle of the screen, which will then populate on the right-hand side of the screen under the Selected Courses box. Students, again, need to make sure they request both the A and the B semester for year-long courses. Students will know they have requested enough courses once their total credits listed in the upper right-hand side of the screen say 8.0, unless they're taking a release period as a junior or senior, where you would deduct those credits from the overall total credit listed. Once students add in their course requests, they will click on the Request Alternates tab. Under this tab, they will put in their backup classes in case they encounter any conflicts during online arena scheduling. Don't forget to use the following scheduling resources to help you research courses to make the best selections for you for next school year. Refer to the course requests and online arena scheduling Padlet in your grade level Canvas course and also post it in the 
counseling newsletter. Okay, it's time to get started. You will use the rest of the time in this class period to begin entering your course requests into Skyward. You may edit and change your course requests until midnight on February 3rd. Counselors will walk around your class to answer any questions you have. Do you have questions after this period? Make sure to scan your counselor's QR code to ask your questions or to request an appointment.